Greetings. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to load data into our studio. I'm going to look at five different methods as laid out here. The first one is going to be using a .csv file standing for comma separated version. So for a demonstration I have a Google Sheet here and to get this data from my Google Sheet into our studio what I need to do is save it as, and in Google it says download as, a .csv file. Uh, so here we've got comma separated values. I'm going to go ahead and save and on my computer it's putting it into the downloads folder right there. So I'm going to go into my RStudio and the environment tab is where the data is going to wind up. So going up there, import data set two options text and web uh, web is just a direct URL so everything else is going to be a text those are files from my computer and I'm going to go in my desktop uh, excuse me my downloads folder and I want to just fish out that uh, folder that I just downloaded which uh, was called ecology and biostatistics uh, from a student project of mine go ahead and click open on that and here's the main window we want to familiarize ourselves with as a comma comma separated file this is what it actually looks like even though uh, the Google sheet presented it like this that's fine uh, we want it to look more like the original and this is what R is going to import it as there's a little button here, probably our most important heading. If I have no clicked, notice that it makes up headings for me and it changed my heading names into data. We do not want that. We would want that if there were no headings in the original data load, but there are here, so that covers it. The separator is commas, as we have noted, and these other items, uh, lesser used, the defaults are fine. One other key piece is we probably want to give it a better name. This is a really ugly name for a data set. So I'm just going to call it, uh, let's say, test one for our purposes. Hit the import button and it pops up the data here, test one. And notice that test one is right here in my data set. If I were closed out, I could click on it and there's the data ready for use within R. Great. Let's go to option, well, as far as that comma separated, one other thing. Here's an Excel spreadsheet. If I go File, Save As, I need to select among all the options the comma separated, and I can be back onto the same track as we just did. Now, I'd like to show how to load data with a tab delimited file. It's the same exact process, this is just a different file format. So uh, to demonstrate this, let's suppose that you have data on a, some page, maybe it looks like this. I'm not going to grab it all, let's just grab some. And I'm talking about properly formatted data. This looks formatted, although obviously it's a little bit disjointed that's fine there are tab characters between each of these spaces there I want to retain that so I've done a simple copy now I need to open a text file on my computer what that looks like is simply uh, creating a new file a text document uh, if you have a Mac then Emacs is one text editor. It doesn't really matter much. I'll call this test2 and it's a text file which is defaulted there. I'm going to just paste right into that and you'll notice it's retained its formatting and this column formatting is a little bit off but that's because of this heading right here so it's fine and I'm just going to save that and we'll close out, go into our studio now, and we'll import text file again. Need to find it. 
that guy was on my desktop. So, finding it. And you'll notice the character, he's a tab character. That's what the data looked like. But down here, it's in the form that I'm looking for because it was originally properly formatted. You must be careful to cut off any junk above and below. Notice where I drew it from. Uh, test2 is a good name. Everything looks right here. Headings are correct. We import. Test2 is in. We're good to go. Let's go to the third one, a website direct. This is very simple. If you happen to have a website that is just a pure data website like this one, I'm just going to grab that URL right there. And from R, on import, I can use the web URL option. And it says enter. So we'll paste in, click OK, and boom. Same options. We can just call this test three. And again, the headings are there looking right. Let's do the import and it's good to go. Test three data, there it is. Okay. Uh, the last main one I wanted to do is to just demonstrate this scan function. You might find yourself in a situation where you just want a single row of data that uh, maybe you've got a file, it's like, ah, there's so much stuff here, it's huge. But really, I just want this little snippet of data. Well, you can copy a single column or row of data out of a spreadsheet. And from R, I'm going to type in the scan function, close the parentheses, and hit enter. Notice a little one pops up. Well, I could manually hit uh, enter data. Let's just try that 5, enter 10, enter uh, 3. If I hit enter, it is now read in those items. I didn't call it anything. So I want to name the variable I'm going to use next. Let's call it x. Actually, let's call it test 4. I've now entered. I'm going to put paste You'll notice those are the, the numbers that I had. It's waiting for another one. I'm going to hit enter. That ends it. It says it's read 20 items. And if I go up into my environment, uh, let's see, test four is not a data frame. So it's going to appear in here with the values. But if I type in test four, there it is, ready to operate. That covers the main ways to load data into R. Uh, for more advanced methods, there is a library called Foreign that you can install. And for example, you can read in SPSS data files with the command read SPSS uh, to access the help file. You can look at that. And uh, Stata files, it reads in various um, customized data formats.